right, here we are. Here we are, live. Hello and welcome to Film Lab eCampus. I'm your instructor MJ and in this tutorial we're going to talk about sleep death. That's right, sleep death, it's a common problem with Android. Let's get involved here. Okay, so um, uh, basically uh, sleep death has really been around since the beginning of Android devices and uh, it, so it's basically a problem that affects uh, uh, phones. Um, our suspicion is it uh, lies within the kernel um, what our suspicion is is that um, you know, uh, especially nowadays with a lot of the uh, fast charging, um, that uh, basically uh, there's a glitch in there where the battery charges, it gets hot, um, it's fast charging, and you know, with Android it's a little bit different. If your device gets too hot, it's going to give you a warning. And uh, also too is uh, you know, if it, if it uh, if it gets really really hot it's just gonna shut off and uh, I don't know about you but uh, you know I've there's been plenty of times where I have picked up an Android device and I'm like wow that's that's uh, it almost feels like it's gonna burn you and um, and then the device sometimes shuts off and with no warning uh, you get nothing left and also too there's situations where you know you'll just uh, you'll have your device and it just simply shuts off and you're pressing the power button the wake lock button, nothing's happening. You're not getting any response whatsoever. You change the battery, um, you plug it into a charger, you're getting nothing, it's simply not turning on. Well, there's, uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, ways around this and uh, you're gonna kind of laugh uh, when I tell you, but it really is time. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, when we have problems uh, with, with devices as text, we wanna fix it right away and uh, we want to get the device back to their customer. But what I've found, with, especially with sleep of death, is you really have to give it about 48 hours. And uh, you do have to do some other things too. You want to, uh, obviously, you want to change the cable. You want to change the battery if it's possible. Um, but initially, um, what you want to do is you want to give it about 48 hours. And you would be surprised. Uh, I've done thousands of phones. and. Out of those thousands of phones, I've done my share of sleep death phones. And you would be surprised what happens when you just walk away and come back a couple of days later and uh, the device just powers up or you plug it into a charger and uh, it's, it, it suddenly will come back on. Also too is uh, their sleep of death with uh, Android or with uh, LG devices, it's real common. Matter of fact, um, you know, uh, one of the things that I'm gonna share with you here in the video is a great way to get out of an LG brick, um, which uh, I've done several times, actually uh, a lot. And unfortunately, it affects uh, LG devices a lot. Here we have a V10. And uh, basically, um, what happens uh, when, when you, when, with V10s, it's a little bit different. You got two displays. But what we found out with LG devices is simply they won't turn on and uh, they won't charge. And you're pressing this button and you're getting nothing. Now, uh, when the G4 came out, there was the uh, power button issue that, uh, that LG acknowledged, but particularly with the phone just not responding and coming back on after the G4 issue, um, kind of makes us think, okay, what else is going on here? Well, I've got a solution, and you'd be surprised. You plug the device in, it's in a QS USB hub state, so it's in a Qualcomm brick state. With the battery out, you're able to press the volume up button, take a stock LG cable, okay? And when you plug it in, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see the question mark right there. Once you see that question mark, you wanna take the original battery and you wanna slide it in. While you're keeping the button held down, you wanna slide that in there. And when you do, it's gonna put the device into uh, download mode and then you can go ahead and there we go. 
and you can put uh, and then you can go ahead and load stock firmware uh, back into the device. Um, as far as uh, Galaxy phones go, um, Galaxy is a little bit different. Um, what I've found with Galaxy phones is when you force uh, power cycle the device with the charger plugged in to a PC, not to a charging brick, uh, that will uh, get you back into download mode. And what I mean by that is all buttons and the home button need to be pressed at the same time. And uh, you do need to have a uh, factory uh, Samsung cable plugged into the workshop PC uh, when you do that. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of uh, solutions there that I've seen work a lot of the times, but really your initial, uh, the initial thing you need to do is just walk away. Um, you need to give it time, especially when you're dealing with a phone where the lithium has been hot for a while and uh, the, the uh, uh, phone has just recently shut down. Take a break from it, come back, use some of the tips that I gave you here and uh, see if that week works for you. And that's it for this uh, uh, tutorial on how to solve sleep death. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. You can also send us an email, phonelabtech at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.